Uh, Larry Karaszewski, along with his writing producing partner, Scott Alexander, is best known for making films based on unusual true stories, Ed Wood, Man on the Moon, and Big Eyes. Over the years, they've won two Golden Globes, two Writers Guild Awards, and last, and last season, the Producers Guild Award and the Emmy for creating the hit television series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Presenting the award to Max Lance and Jen Bailey is Larry Karaszewski. I've been in the Academy for close to 20 years, and until this season, I've never been a part of the Nichols Committee. But becoming a governor uh, in the writer's branch finally shamed me into doing my fair share. So the Academy sent me a big stack of screenplays, and I randomly picked one from the pile. I knew nothing about the writers and nothing about the plot. I just started reading my first script. And about 10 pages in, like Twilight Zone music started playing. <laughs> Something weird was occurring. I, I began to come across some familiar characters, some very familiar characters, names like Robert Shapiro. I started looking around my house for hidden cameras, like was I being punked? <laughs> was I really reading another script about the O.J. Simpson case? Uh, was I holding season two? <laughs> but I kept reading, and here's the thing, it was another good script about O.J. Simpson. The writers had found another interesting angle, other fascinating characters, and other pertinent topics to discuss. The Queen of Sleeves by Max Lance and Jen Bailey tells a sordid tale of Judith Regan, the Fox media empire, and the fiasco of O.J.'s notorious If I Did It book deal. It's a smart, funny, and complex look at the grotesque 24 hours a day news infotainment industrial complex. Our show was clearly an influence, but it also reminded me of a different film, Paddy Chayefsky's Network. Judith Regan is Faye Dunaway's character made flesh. What was once satire is now reality. And the Queen of Sleaze does something amazing. It takes this complicated woman and through masterful prose and dialogue gives her humanity, all while not denying her flaws and mistakes. The aspect that impressed me the most about the writing was its tricky tone. Most writers declare a major. This is a serious drama. This is an absurd comedy. But Max Lance and Jen Bailey know that real life is a mixture of both. And I'm proud to present them with the Nichols Fellowship. Hi, everyone. All right, well, <laughs> we'd like to thank the Academy for this incredible fellowship and opportunity. Uh, Greg and Joan for putting together such a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, thank my parents and my friends for their love and support and all of their babysitting. Alicia Brophy, Scott Miles, Nick Scown, Matt Murphy. This is for the best writers group in Los Angeles. Uh, my parents tell me that it is wrong to get a full-time accounting job and that I should pursue my dreams. So thank you for them. Um, in the same week, two of my biggest dreams came true. I had a baby. <laughs> and I started a career. <laughs> so while both are huge accomplishments, it's really dawning on me that everything, and it really feels this way, everything is just beginning. And this was my 10th submission to the Nickel with eight different scripts. Um, the smartest thing I ever did was ask my creative, smart, uh, talented girlfriend at the time if she wanted to write with me. Uh, two years ago, the first script we co-wrote reached the finals of the Nickel, and then we got married that year. And then uh, Wednesday, she had our first kid. Monday, we won the Nickel. So, <laughs> like... Uh, you know, I owe this all to Jen, and marriage is not the scam I thought it was. So, like, she's a superwoman. This is amazing. Larry, so, yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>